you've had it for so long, people don't know what it truly means. What is this thing? It's an odd bird. Although at the beginning, they didn't know quite how they were going to do it. What kind of a situation are we asking for? There is no Emancipation Proclamation without the Electoral College, because without the Electoral College, there is no Abraham Lincoln as President of the United States of America. The founders set up a system of absolutely nobody is trusted, everybody is given a little bit of power to check the others, to create accountability. The President's not supposed to have very much power over how government works. The President's supposed to make government work. They thought that people were ultimately corrupt or corruptible. This system solved a lot of their philosophical problems of a democracy within a republic. It was a system that allowed for political competition, but doing so in a way in which you try to bring people together. You know, sometimes you hear people say, whoever wins the popular vote should win. Getting rid of the electoral college doesn't diminish the impact of money in politics. It amplifies it in ways you cannot even begin to comprehend. Tonight, we say to Michael Bloomberg and other billionaires, sorry, you ain't gonna buy this election. In the electoral college system, you do have to pay attention to African-American voters, or you lose their votes, or you lose their vote, you lose that swing state, you lose the electoral college. You move to a system where you eliminate the electoral college, Literally, the United States of America could be won at one time by just white people. There were new calls to abolish the constitutionally mandated system. Unless the Electoral College defenders rise up and make the argument about why the Electoral College is so important, we can easily lose the Electoral College. You've had it for so long, people don't know what it truly means.